G'day and welcome back for more Assertive Acquisitions. Uh, I'm going to build a fighter today. Ooh. What do you think I'm going to forget to do on it before we go into battle? Uh, gyroscopes. Yeah, that'd probably be the center card, or the center square on the bingo card, I imagine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then ammunition would be somewhere around there, and yeah, I think we could have a bingo card for. What's forgotten on this build? Mm. Uh, you've got any thoughts on what you're going to do with your um, attack train? Uh, or, as some people suggested, A train? Possibly change the gun configuration so we don't blow each other up. Yep. So my goal with my fighter is going to be making something small, since you've got something big. Yeah. Uh, I don't know how small I'm actually going to be able to make it but still make it useful. Because if I go too small, I'll end up just getting blown up instantly. <laughs> uh, oh. Fuzzy Motor approaching landing zone. Where's that going? Oh, it's going to the drone operations? Pause. No, it's coming toward us vaguely. You sure? Yeah, it's 9.3, 9.29. I mean, the valley, the valley cruises is at the drone operation site. Maybe they're both going there. Oh, actually, yeah, because the Quasimodo is further away than the drone operations, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. I know that. I know the drone place is resupplying. That's bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, so I think I've got to, with a small grid fighter, I've got to use the fighter cockpit. I don't think I can make anything else that's as strong and similarly sized. Mm. I toyed around with the idea of making my fighter out of... Um, the rover seat, the rover cockpit, but mm. realise that that's probably unwise. One for two point symmetry, as in it's even symmetry, which makes it frustrating, but also because of just how much more compl complexity it gives it to repair it or rearm it or things like that. So I think I'm just going to go with a straight up regular fighter cockpit and try and make something that fits around that that's not that still fits comfortably within my welder apparatus here. Because I think if it fits in that space, it'll be small enough. The thing I find difficult about the fighter cockpit, though, is it's big. Yeah, it is. It's yeah. a really big block. I figure I lay out my guns first, and then I figure out the rest of it. Since I need to be able to put out enough Gatling fire to obliterate a drone that's in front of me. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. No, 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 no. no. Oh. Uh... Crash? That's what it sounded like. <laughs> no, I forgot to... No. What did you do? I forgot to set limits on my hinge that I was building from. Ah, so it just fell over. <laughs> yeah, I noticed it start to tilt and I was like, Oh, what's going on? Why is this moving? Is my Have I got dampness on? And then all of a sudden it just went clunk. Yeah. <laughs> as I was about to start fixing it. But I'm going to use the... Um, angle limits to push it back into position. Oh, actually, that's a good point. How many thruster components have we been making? Oh, yeah, you were going to do ions, weren't you? Yeah. Which means I probably need to go double battery. Probably, yeah. Because you need to have enough battery power to have a big thruster or two. I think I'm also going to do a downward-facing connector. Because it leaves space oh, yeah. at the... It leaves room at the back for fitting the large... For fitting the large thruster. Uh, words? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on with my words there. My face isn't half droopy, so I don't think I'm having a stroke. So far, I'm uh, aiming for seven Gatling guns. Yep. Which, you know, should be. Plenty, yeah. Uh, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully, it puts out enough pain that I can uh, defeat the drone before the drone does enough damage to me that it's. Hmm. that I'm crippled. I mean, if the drones struggle to hit me, they're going to find it even harder to hit you. Well, except that I have to line up on them to hit them. You're moving around using your well, turrets yes. to do the damage. I actually have to line up my shots. So I have to dodge them while giving myself enough accuracy. So there, there is a part of me that's wondering whether I want to outrange them and use heavier calibre stuff just for the range alone. Hmm. Um, and have... Like, what I'm thinking is maybe I take out two of the Gatlings and replace them with assault cannons. Could work. 
Because then I could use the um, then I can use the assault cannons at range and then switch to the Gatlings once I get close enough to use them. Though assault cannons are really long. Yeah. Hmm. Maybe they go on the sides. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm just going Gatlings. <laughs> Because auto cannons have the same range as Gatlings, don't they? Uh, yeah. If I can ever remember which one's auto and which one's assault. <laughs> assault, assaults, aggressively. Auto's just the lower fire rate, higher damage. Auto is the Gatling alternative. Yeah. Oh, huh? it's calling there's in more support. There's a lot of ships that? landing today. Uh, the Hecate, that's almost directly overhead. Yeah. I think they're taking for the observer face. I'm um, sure so, it's closer. Um, no, maybe Is it going to get close enough to call in help? Um... <laughs> that's an interesting question. Five kilometres. Uh, it seems to be... Parts. It's getting down to... It's now 4.98. 4.95. Very difficult to see against this skybox. <laughs> it's just very difficult. Like, it, it's at 5k. You can't really see it yeah. anyway. Or are you trying to look through a turret? Uh, I'm not trying to look through a turret. Yeah, I think that's heading for the listening post. Which could bring it very close to us. Yeah. We should be on alert. Just in case. Yes. Uh, where am I going to hide my gyros? Yeah, so much traffic. Wait, is that the same Quasimodo or is it a different one? Uh, it could be the same one going to a different base. Oh. There is a part of me that wonders whether having a hydrogen-powered small fighter makes more sense, just because of the higher mm. thrust output of the thrusters. Um, or even, like, having a hydrogen... Uh, like, a mixed fuel fighter having hydrogen and ion, so that it can be high power during combat and then just use the ions for normal landing and takeoff. I could do that. I think that would make it a lot bigger than I want, though. Which is my worry on it. Uh, love lazy building. Ow. Oh. They don't reach very far. Oh. I got like eight blocks built out of that. <laughs> well done. Yep. Yep. Alright, let's try this. <laughs> now that it's tilted downward, can I weld more of it? Hmm. Apparently, you can weld enough that the thrusters turn on. Aha! Success? Yeah, <laughs> check out what I did. <laughs> I just, um, I used the hinge. Uh, be careful you don't get fried when you come out that door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just let the hinge flop back and now most of it got welded up without me having to do any of it by hand. Oh, nice. See, now it looks like one of those catapult things that's going to fling it to launch it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was thinking of making this space its landing spot, so I am I could do a catapult, I guess. I probably mm. won't, but I could. Kind of a shame you'd have to make it a very large catapult to get the kind of speed you'd need. Or a grav catapult. Or that. We're on the moon, we can do that. We are. And we've got all the materials required, actually. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> are you wishing you had a grav catapult for your... What are you calling your ship? Um, that's a very good question. <laughs> I, I I honestly didn't mind it being. I didn't. I thought the idea of calling it the A train wasn't wasn't too bad. Um, yeah, I think. But I'm not sure good. you wanted to lean into the whole I I've built a flying train thing, <laughs> or not. Oh, really. <laughs> <laughs> as sad as I am to say this, I'm really glad I'm building something that doesn't require a rotor turret. Yeah. Though, uh, you'd said this earlier on. Did I? What did I say? What you'd said earlier on was maybe we should consider rotor turrets as a base mounted thing, not yeah. as a vehicle mounted thing. Well, yes, because the base doesn't move. Hmm. So the base can have as large a rotor turret as you want, and it's not going to have any impact from that. Yeah. Uh, which I think is, it's got some merit. And it also means that the place, the thing that's hosing out ammunition is also the place that makes it. Because, um, yeah, these outer turrets on their own tend to get absolutely decimated. Although it does its job of stopping our main base being destroyed. Well, exactly, which is... That's what it's there for. It's to stop the... Ow! What? I just fried yeah, myself a little the... bit. 
I think I like singed my hair or something because I didn't quite die, but <laughs> I did get hurt. I think this arrangement for the uh, guns on the front is actually going to work uh, look a bit better and probably be more effective as well. Okay, what have you done? Let's have a look. Uh, are you talking the top or are you talking the... Uh, the sides. The... So basically going to get rid of the ones at the front and have them like that. Okay. Um, so one suggestion that I saw, which I think is probably a good one, is maybe to switch out the red for either a different tone of grey or just using the orange. Hmm. Lots to kind of keep it for the back bit or just get rid of the red entirely? Just get rid of the red entirely. Uh, people can't handle three colours. What have you done with this turret on top? Uh, and why? Complicated reasons. Why... Why do you want... Oh yeah, why is it... Hang on, why... is that... I'm... No, no, what, what I'm perplexed by is... You have four oh. ways for that turret to get ammunition... Yeah. Uh, to get cargo connection through one block. So when that one block dies, those four ways all break. Yes. Uh, and the way that could break is directly covered and protected by the turret itself, so do those other methods actually add anything? I don't know. I, I Personally, I don't think they do. I think it's redundancy that actually isn't where it needs to be, so you probably don't need them. Mm. And they're going to make it really hard for you to do any sort of visual styling around there because those extra blocks are just... They add so much extra dimension. True. Ah, so many cargo ships landing on the moon. <laughs> yeah, I, I feel like maybe we've attracted a bit more attention than we wanted to. Potentially. Alright. Uh, I guess this is going to be first test flight. Have you got an antenna on it? Nope. Or beacon. Nope. <laughs> I don't even have a name for it yet. I figure I'll name it once I've have a look at what it looks like at the end. Thrusters on. Okay. We use 40% of our max power output when pushing forwards. I think I want to change some of the thruster arrangements, but... It's not too bad. Okay, I do want more lifting thrust. Doesn't feel like it'll be quite enough to quickly stop me if I'm shooting toward the ground. Makes me slightly nervous, considering the way I tend to fly fighters. Do, 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 do. So I hear you painting. Oh, I also took off without reverse thrusters. That was a good idea. I'm so glad we've got platinum in our little crater. Yeah. Because otherwise I wouldn't feel okay about using up ions on a combat ship. Yeah, it'd be kind of risky. Yeah, it'd feel like it's a too expensive thing to spend to take into battle but, uh, and especially as this is kind of I'm expecting to take damage yeah <laughs> uh, do I want backup gyroscopes on this as in ones that I don't really want to have in regular use because they'll make things spin way too powerfully but we'll be there in case something gets shot hmm interesting question oh you want a beacon on this as well so you don't start shooting me yeah <laughs> That's why you wanted it, isn't it? Well, it's also just good to know where you are. Mm, true, true, true. Uh, what? What? Where's the oh. Quasimodo? Jeez, that's close. That's only 2.7 kilometers away. Yeah. Where's also, it going? Oh, is it heading to the base of Osiris? Um. Uh, if it's heading to that base of Osiris, we might need to get ready to. Uh, yeah. Pie. Well, I, I'm I don't have any armor. I've got probably ammo by now, but I don't have any armor. I mean, and knowing me, I probably haven't got any ammo. Um. <laughs> <laughs> no ammo, no armor, no idea. Okay, getting the drone operation to base is going to be tricky if the cargo ships at it so often. <laughs> yeah, that that is definitely going to add some extra spice to any assault we attempt there. On the positive side, in theory, we could try to shoot down the ship such that it lands on the base. <laughs> I kind of like that idea. Yeah, just target the thrusters and just shoot it down. Uh. Well, actually, for cargo ships, 
I guess it doesn't really work for capturing them, but if they're very low to the ground where the base, it could work. Yeah, actually, we could set them up to ambush, so when we notice a ship go in for a base, that's when we go in for the ship. Mm. Because then shooting it down, especially on the moon, it's going to yeah, do barely any damage to itself on hitting the ground. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I really like that idea. I Actually, I think... Given what we were just saying about the trying to shoot the thing on the enemy base, I don't think that's going to be particularly effective because of the low gravity. But yeah, that also means that we can use it to our advantage. Hmm. Hmm, good thinking. Oh no! There. Incoming drones. Is there? Oh, fruit fly! I see them. Um, I'm not sure if my ship's quite ready yet. Although, uh, it should work. It's just we minus a turret. Wait. Where are they coming from? That came from the drone operations. That should be coming from the drone operations. Maybe we just... Oh, there they are. Yep. They're inbound. Uh, okay, and quick. Alright, I'm going to go in my rover because oh, I... My I really fighter is not ready. In. I really hope it pulls in enough ammo. Uh... My gun is ready because it was working last time. Let's just ah. make sure you check your ammo quickly after you disconnect. Yeah. You still got a few minutes. You still got a few moments. It's only yep. there. Five k's out. Yep. And closing. I'm putting my rover in the line of fire. Yeah. I'm putting as much ammo that's sparing the base into my rover as I can. Remember to leave some assault cannon left yeah. for it. Yeah. So we do have those big cannons on top. Two point eight. Monarch, Locust, Fruit Fi, and a second Locust. Now I'm not going to have my um, targeting for specific Two kilometers out. Uh, uh, I just won't. Uh, it won't matter for the drones. Are they? Monarch's approaching first. Where are you? I'm in direct line in front oh. of our base. Oh, if you're in a rover. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, they're almost here. Yep. I'll attempt to fly it sort of parallel to them. Alright, my spotlights are on them. Hey, both my turrets are firing. Yep, so am I. Okay, I really need to stop boosting so hard. <laughs> you do have a lot of thrust. Yes, I do. Oh, they very much targeted our base. Uh -oh. oh no, they've targeted the turret outbuilding. Oh, that's fine. There's no yeah. turret there anymore anyway. All right, one drone's down. Oh no, am I shooting the base trying to shoot the drone? Uh, possibly. I think that's two drones down. Hey. Okay, that was must have been three when I thought there was two. Oh, That's all of them down. Oh, look at how little is left of the out turret. I was going to say, just keep repairing it if they keep shooting it. Just make sure it's got power. That, there's nothing left. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pile Fine. of rubble. Oh, wait, is the battery still intact? Yeah, is the battery still intact? Is the battery intact before? The battery's intact. Oh, yeah, just leave it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If we want to recheck it, we can put like a. If you just put some armor blocks over top and put like a welder underneath. Well, I was thinking if we have these out turrets, we should build them with um, some auto repair capacity. Well, that went okay. Yes. And I've got plenty of extra ammo. It helps when uh, we've got all of our guns actually firing. Whoa! Oops. Oops. Wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Uh, it's just a test firing. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, you'd scared them. Oh. Uh, I was, I, I was sure we were under there. attack. <laughs> there's nothing important at the front of the base. Yeah, it's a good thing I don't have like a closed door on the. <laughs> yes, it is. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, we still haven't repaired the big uh, dish since it got shut up. 
Oh yeah. Well, if, since you're ready to go, why don't you uh, well, do I'm not a little? Quite... Oh. Uh, yeah, but yeah. You so don't have to yes. do it now. I'm just saying, if you feel yeah. ready to go and I'm not ready yet, yeah, um, I think you can always work on your part of the living quarters and things like that. Mm. Um, uh, drone operations uh, is attacking us. Uh, yeah, I think that's another wave coming in. Uh, you gonna you got getting your fighter ready? Um, yeah, pretty much. Uh, where are they? Uh, there's a bunch of fruit flies behind us. They don't appear to be moving though. No, there's a fruit fly monarch that I can see so far. A f we really need <laughs> we a firefly and a space wasp. Yep. But you see those two ones that are like six kilometers away that are just, I don't know, having a nap or something. Oh, I think I know what they are. Are they escorts? That I think they're escorts that didn't despawn. Ah. Oh. Oh, yeah, they're getting close. I'm getting on my ship. I'm back in my rover. Doesn't trust the fighter. Not, not, not until I've tested to see whether I added too much heavy armor to it. Okay, I will now not accidentally fire my guns again. Nice. Yes, not while I'm right in front uh, of you, though. The base has drained all my fuel. Hang on. Well, not all of us. That's exaggerating. Okay. Oh, well, we run out of ice and hydrogen. No, I think it's because I didn't have it on the stockpile after a while. Well, I have left the engines on the whole time, so... Yeah. Um, oh. Whoa. What? I'll just, I'll just debris there. It's a drone. Debris that's oh. attacked. But I can't control... Oh, actually, no, I have set up the targeting now. Okay. Doing evasive. Hang on. Spotlights are on. Yep, yeah, both my turrets are firing quite effectively. One down. Oh, they're all too high for me. Firefly Mark Two. Mark Two. That sounds like something. Oh, oh! Look out, rockets! Oh, one down. Uh, the rockets are still aiming at the outlying structure. That's lucky, because the battery's still there. dealing with these a lot better now although it does help they keep shooting the remains of the yeah well it's that's always been the closest thing to them when they get yeah. called in so they just target it I guess oh now I'm still shooting the stupid thing in the hole what the oh you <laughs> <laughs> what you're wondering what's the big flying thing coming down no I was wondering what the shooting was yeah it's the I need to lock up to the base because I have done a U and I'm almost out of ammo. Hmm. I got a feeling it's going to be a lot less pleasant if that thing out there finally gets destroyed. Because <laughs> uh, it's our base that's going to be in rockets. Yeah. I think I'm going to switch from heavy armor to light armor. I'm just going to keep heavy on the front of my sh ship, but the rest of it, keep it as light. Because I don't think Fuel the other parts left. of it need to be as... Protected. It's the front that's going to cop the most damage. Mm, yeah. I think. This sinking feeling that I'm going to get shot exactly where I said, oh, I shouldn't need to do heavy armor for that bit. Yeah. I would say the fort is uh, ready once we chuck some stuff in it. Cool. Uh, so what do I need? I just need the stuff for the Gatling gun. Oh, what's it going to hide a projector somewhere? Fuel you can if you want, or you can just, um, we can just uh, rebuild it each time. Yeah, I don't think it's going to fit. Critical. Yeah. So just the stuff for probably, what, two Gatling turrets? That should be more than enough. Yeah, maybe mainly steel plate, because that's mainly what'll get taken out. Yeah. I was just gonna, yeah, do two Gatling turrets and then fill the rest with steel plates. So that should last it ages. I'm gonna figure out how to have this join up to the main base because it looks a bit weird. 
we've got half blocks here. Um, oh, that corner is probably going to get changed up, so don't stress about how yeah. it joins at this point. I I am in to... that is very much in progress rather than final. Alrighty, uh, I am ready to go, and we have oh. just enough daylight to go. If you want to go, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's so put this panel back. Oh, why can't I get? What? <gasps> uh oh. What? Did I not and... actually connect up my cargo network <laughs> inside this thing? Uh, uh, is mission even being aborted? What? No. I could have sworn I did. But apparently I can't get Gatling ammo into my ship. Uh, Good. The way I thought I could. Let's try this. Yeah, so which base are we heading for again? Uh, okay. You pick. Uh, that's difficult because we don't want to head to, over towards the drone operations, but the only other one's the observer in the complete other direction. Yeah. Uh, well, do we want to go after a cargo ship instead? Oh. Um, you see, I only see the Columbus at the moment. It's moving away from us. There is also a Valley Cruces, but I think the Columbus is probably the smarter one to go for. It's also at the drone operations yeah. base. <laughs> and they're both kind of in that direction, so maybe let's just go for the observer base. Oh, we could go for the one that's uh, not... Oh, uh, yeah. Actually, there seems to be one that's awfully close to one of our wrecks. Or one of the wrecks that used to be there. Yeah. <laughs> Given the number of drones that have been around. True. Um, quickly put on the stockpile... Get my fuel back up. Make sure I've not selected four so I don't fire my assault cannons. <laughs> uh, turn stuff pile off. I have an hour at flight at hover. Nice. Uh, so which one? The one the one's only four kilometers away. Uh, I was oh, thinking the one that's six. Park. That's a bit oh, around yeah. to the side there. Yeah. Yeah, that's the one near the. Oh, the one that's six kilometers or six and a half. 6.3 something. Oh, okay. I was looking the other side of the... Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say the observer, and then it's like, yeah, all three of them are. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. Reverse thrust I need to have toggle off. Oh, yeah, but I've got a toggle for that, haven't I? Yes. Are we ready to go? Yep. I am ready to go. Go. Oh. Uh, um, what? Uh, just need to quickly blueprint this. Potentially. Well, actually, yeah, I should probably blueprint this as well. <laughs> um, I might stop and wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm good now. Yeah. Hmm. So I, so I try and outrange the base while you deal with the drones. Yep. Oh, it's pretty dark. <laughs> um, we may just be discovering how poorly I go against drones. <laughs> yeah. Or how well, if I'm lucky. Accelerating to 100 meters a second. 2.8 k's out from observer base. Yeah, it might just been a light bit. Down like a valley or something. Actually, I probably need to increase altitude. Uh, yeah, with it being this dark, I'm keeping well off the ground. Yeah. If I can. Uh, uh, I, say, I guess a 1.4. Alright, free fly. Yep. I'm attempting to get inside my gun's range so I can take some shots at it. Attempting lock on fruit fly. Oh, yes, I hit them. Yeah, they're not <laughs> happy about me hitting them. 
Hey, I, I can't, can't imagine uh, why. I can't tell with the drones for a bit. I don't think I've scored it. Oh yeah, I've scored Spence. Uh, oh yeah, I've scored more than. I'm sure I'm focusing on the side for the next thing you do. <laughs> yeah, getting hit by my Gatling fire will hurt. Yeah. Yep, there it goes. Uh, yep, there's another one behind you. That's moving away, Sunny. Hang on, I'm gonna go down and investigate the base. Okay. I think this one's shoot might be going after you, maybe? Yep. Oh, okay, maybe it's switched to me now. No, I think it's going after me. Also. Ah, uh, yeah, but it's shooting at me, definitely. Some of my guns are out of ammo because apparently I messed up my conveyor system, which we have to fix. But that's fine. Because enough of my guns have ammo. We just tell. Okay, yep, it's charging me. Yes, yeah, so this turn away can work fine as long as I can keep the drones on the side of me. Oh yeah. Hey. Ow! 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 Got it. Oh. Uh, you're 2.5 kilometers, you're nearly at the edge of space, I think. Yeah, I'm um, in a deadly duel with a drone. Yeah, there it goes. Alright, what damage did I take? Oh, I seem alright. Uh, hang on. I have to make a very quick pass on the base to see if it's still got weapons. Um, well, do you want me to do that? No, you can do it if you want. But I'm about. Uh, I'm within 600 meters and it's not shooting at me. Oh, that's cool. Did we? Ooh, did we? No, did we yeah, have a success? It's now. It's shooting now. <laughs> I was about to say, did we have a success? No, we didn't. Uh, mostly. The darkness is not helping. Okay, I might have actually taken a bit of damage now. <laughs> Yeah, this darkness is really not helping with the... No, um... Perhaps we stick to our whole only fight at, in daylight if we can. Or only yes. attack in daylight. I can understand this. Yeah. What if there was an interior turret or a normal turret? I'm just fighting a fruit fly at the moment. Yep. Oh, yeah, you're about to like, come on above me. Oh, there's another fire there. Okay, um... I really, need a camera on the I really need a camera on the front so I can zoom in and look at things. Yeah, a camera is a good idea. Uh, oh, Firefly yeah. inbound. Uh, yep, I'm coming up. Um, are you, have you taken out the base now? Uh, I think there's like one gun left, but I've taken out the others. Well, do you want to oh. deal with the base gun? Uh, I'll, I'll deal with this drone. drone. I've got a space boss after me. There we go, Firefly's down, where's the Space Wasp? There's another Firefly. Oh! Oh! What? I know why there are so many drones. Why? They're all saying their friends? Yeah, they're all calling for help with the, from their friends nearby. Not ideal. Uh, is that Space Wasp crashing? Seems you're flying awfully low. Nope, it's still trying to shoot at me. Oh, I see. Oh, it's on fire a bit. Yeah, I think it's lost some of its thrust. Good. Uh, I think I've cleared the air mostly, though there is a firefly at our base. What? Yeah. That's not good. Yeah. Agreed. Um, given how dark it is, unless you feel like you can take on that base confidently, I think perhaps... I can't see well enough to... Yeah, I think perhaps we head home and consider this as a pretty successful first 
trial of our yeah, dual is. fighter setup. And we gotta go and see what that firefly is doing. Yeah. Because I can see gunfire at our base. Disabling braking thrust. We've got 62% fuel. I still have 20 minutes at full thrust. Oh, and of course a cargo ship spawns over our base. <laughs> Uh, Firefly's gone. Oh, uh, no, the Columbus. Oh, yeah. The no, the Firefly's gone. gone. Yeah. I might need to sneak some little batteries in here that I do max out my power if I go forward and up at the same time. Not ideal. Uh, let's see. Hopefully everything's still intact here. Don't see any smoke. Oh, the outer turret is... Or is that the drone? Hmm. What is that? The bit of fire that you can see. Yeah, I think that's a drone or is it a, the thing? I think it's the, the fort thing. That case hasn't lasted very long. <laughs> uh, no, that's further out than that is. The bit that, at least the bit, the fire, bit of fire that I can see. I think. It's really hard to tell. Yes, we really need some lights around the outside. Of the... Well, I might need to even put some lights on this fighter. Mm. Um, I've got neons all over it so you can see me. Yeah. But I can't see anything that's on the ground. I was thinking more like just some spotlights pointing outwards around the base so we can see the terrain. Maybe so we don't smash into the floor if it's dark. <laughs> Summit 27. Well, your, base, your ship should have spotlights pointing on it. It does. Because we can't but put... They... Like, there's no way you're going to have enough lights on the thing. Yeah, this is dead drone. Oh, actually... This flaming thing is dead drone. I was going to say, just have um, spotlights on the base set to target friendly so it lights us up when we get close. Well, that lights us, but it doesn't light the ground near us. Well, no, but as we come in to land, it probably would. Only if it's above us. Like, if we put spotlights around the edges of the crater pointing at us, yes, mm. that would help. Um, so if we go back to trying to establish our perimeter of turrets, we could totally put spotlights out there that targeted us. Mm and try and aid us at landing. Which would be also really cool as we came in. Yeah. Seeing lights come in from all the sides. I'd actually really love that. Well, I feel like my fighter was successful even though I managed to somehow not connect my cargo system, which I'm going to have to fix. Uh, but I took out a ton of those drones. Yeah, mine was pretty good as well. And I didn't take too many shots, either. Did you even have a look at my my ship? Uh, not really. Come up here. <laughs> Come up here. Ooh. Very bright. Yeah, you can see where I took some fire. Oh yeah, that's why I gotta check on my thing, since I actually got hit, I think. I got shot a little bit. Hmm. But I think for next time, I just need to fix up my conveyor system, make sure I figure out where I mess that up, because if I've got all my guns active, that'd be nice, but also an easier way to reload than having to manually fill up my cockpit. Yeah, um, not ideal. It's not, not optimal, no. I've clearly messed up a corner armoured conveyor somewhere. Probably. That's my guess. Probably done a Chi Junction or something. Yeah. And how'd yours hold up? Let's go have a look. Uh, mine's... Did you it... learn anything in that battle that you think you want to change uh, about your ship? Not really. Other than I need a camera in the middle so I can look better at where I'm shooting. Um, I think I only got a couple of hits, but it doesn't look like anything's damaged. I did mention cameras for aiming to you earlier. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, no, no, you no, didn't. No, you've taken barely any damage at all. There's like a couple of shots that hit you near one of your assault, uh, yeah. sorry, your I'm, artillery. I'm, I'm, I'm wondering if that right. was an interior turret and I'd already gotten the... I don't know, the colour of the traces when I saw you getting hit, you can usually tell if it's very yellow, it's an interior turret, but I thought... I thought you got hit by a Gatling. Yeah. But yeah, it doesn't look like you've taken much... Oh, you've shot a little bit underneath, but you... Yeah. Despite... Mm. Despite us not actually capturing the base, which wasn't really the goal anyway, it was really to test us not against really. the drones, I feel like we did pretty well. Hmm, we did. Um, next time, I reckon we should do one of two things. We either go after 
a cargo ship to try and start getting some special thrusters mm. or we go after this the drone operations base mm. um, but if we're going to go after the drone operations base I think we need to take out a bunch of the other bases around here first to cut down those reinforcements that it can call in yeah am I worth going for the oh, we could combine both go for the drone operations when there's a cargo ship there that seems terrifying but sure <laughs> we can try that well it'll be a lot safer to shoot down the cargo ship than if it's just because yeah. they're in space they just keep drifting if we try the thrusters yeah I, w I had more been thinking we'd try and shoot a cargo ship when it was at a smaller facility than the drone operations one ah true yes if there's... Yeah. but they seem to mainly be going there they do they do so there's uh, so yeah that's, that's what we're going to try and do one of those things uh, if you've got a naming suggestion for my fighter, let me know, because I'm I'm not sure it quite fits the angry pistachio that was previously suggested. I think it might need something special to it, given it's covered in neon. More fighting, more building, more probably us crashing into the ground to come. So there's all that and plenty more to come, and we will see you then. Goodbye.